While driving on a suspended license is illegal, yet some people still do it. In most cases, those drivers can't qualify for insurance. So what happens when they cause an accident? CBS 12's Lily Ortiz spoke with a local man who has the video of an encounter with one of these drivers and narrowly escaped with his life. Lully? Yeah, Jim, most people grab their car keys, they jump in their car with little or no thought about who they're sharing the road with. Well, tonight, we spoke to a biker who says he's very lucky to be alive after he was hit by a driver with a suspended license. 43-year-old Will Dover loves to record his motorcycle rides with a 360 camera mounted on his bike. Back on March 25th, that camera captured the moment his morning trip to work quickly took a dangerous turn when a driver crashed into Dover, almost head on. Oh. Just happy to be alive. Now on crutches, this injured father retells the moment a driver heading north on U.S. Highway 1 and 4 Pierce failed to yield while making a left turn. All in one movement, it was just too late. So I just braced myself for the hit. Dover suffered deep cuts on both legs and injured his shoulder and wrist. He claims wearing a helmet and other gear saved his life. I just think maybe if he wasn't driving that day, I still have my bike. According to the crash report, the person behind the wheel should not have been driving. They had a suspended license. According to the state, last year, more than 112,000 Florida motorists were caught driving with suspended licenses. West Palm Beach attorney Michael Pike says these drivers create hazards on the road. And significant stress when it comes to people being involved in accidents with those drivers that have suspended licenses. When a driver has a suspended license, he or she is not supposed to be on the road, period, end of story. There are a number of reasons a person's driver's license could be suspended. Fair to pay a ticket, reckless driving, certain um, violations of Florida law can result in a suspended license. And in most cases, it becomes a domino effect with insurance. Usually when you have your driver's license suspended, your insurance company will contact you and most likely drop you as a policy holder. As for Dover, he's facing serious medical bills and for now, he's hoping the suspended driver's insurance will pick up the tab. Now, if you are a person driving on a suspended license, you could be facing much more serious charges. In fact, in some cases, it's a felony, and it could land you in jail. Reporting live tonight in West Palm Beach, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.